Many parents read the text that says, um, train up the chi your child in the way he should go, and he will not depart from it. And they have asked me, okay, how do you do that? Especially when it says in Desire of Ages, um, the first chapter, it says that God never uses force with His creation, with His people. And uh, they said, how, how can you parent without using force? It seems impossible. How do you train up the child in the way he should go? Uh, don't you have to make him do what is right? Well, I've written Parenting Boot Camp as basically my answer to those questions. You can train children in such a way that you do not have to force them to do what you think is right. Um, then there's, of course, the text in Ephesians 6, 4 that says, don't provoke your children to anger. And again, uh, I have given many, many illustrations of how you can raise your children so you will not provoke them to anger by listening to their emotions, by giving them a choice when possible. If they don't want to get in their car seat, um, well, you can't say, well, you have a choice in this area, but you can say, would you like to hold your teddy bear or would you like to hold the, the toy car? And so you try to give your children choices in as much areas as possible. Instead of forcing a child, um, do some creative things like I call the broken record technique. You want your child to take out the trash and he says, how come I have to take out the trash? I don't like to take out the trash. And, and you get in a major discussion about whether he needs to take out the trash or not. Uh-uh. You can creatively do it by just saying with a pleasant voice, please take out the trash. And every time he comes back with another excuse, please take out the trash until he finally takes out the trash. So there are techniques that you can use so that you can train up a child in the way he should go and not provoke him to anger. One of the things that I suggest is to make sure your child feels valuable. He is a creation uh, that God has made. Uh, God has a, a plan for his life. He is a special and, uh, child. And teach him about Psalms 139, verses 13 to 16, where it says that God created him special. Teach him about John 3, 16, that God sent his son to die for him. He is special. And then in John 14, 1 to 3, God has a plan of restoration for every person and for every child. You can train up a child in the way he should go with Parenting Boot Camp and the Scriptures.